already been a month. January actually has 31 days, so it's a longer month. It's already been 31 days since I started this daily vlog. To be honest with you, it feels like a lot of time has passed since episode one. It's been amazing, it's been hard, it's been stressful at times, but here are some of the things that I've learned and my advice to anyone thinking about starting a vlog and especially a daily vlog. Number one, it's important to understand that carrying a camera around wherever you go is ideal, but I gotta tell you, having a camera pointed at yourself is pretty awkward. Showing up to, um, let's say your favorite coffee shop or whatever with the camera pointed at, at, the, at the baristas and stuff, it, it's gonna be weird, it's gonna be awkward, but you gotta get over it. Number two, it's not really a piece of advice, it's more of just like a cool byproduct, and that is that I love the the opportunity, the chance to capture small sort of detailed moments and memories that I would have otherwise kind of forgotten about um, if just left to my own sort of memory. The story becomes more fun to tell when I can kind of show it. For example, like my adventure in the elevator with Sydney Rowe and how we, you know, basically followed Gary Vee around until we finally had the opportunity to, to meet him in my head and telling that story only to a few close friends, it probably would have been a pretty good story, but now it will live in infamy right here on YouTube and it just, the story just tells itself. Number three, especially if you're doing a daily vlog, you've got to roll with the punches. Some days you're gonna end up taking your daughter to the doctor after you went to the doctor yourself and or have spent all day talking to clients or doing this or doing that. Some days you just have to roll with the punches and be true to yourself and document that day because that's that's it. This is the reality, right? This is the piece of me letting you into my life so you can see what it's like to be a dad, an insurance agent, an entrepreneur, a business person, a husband, and, and number four, which is probably the toughest thing for me, and that is don't overthink it. Put it out there, try your best, see how it does, and just do better each and every time. That's a huge challenge for me because I overthink basically everything and just kind of really just stress sometimes over little details that probably nobody notices. Number five, most importantly really, is to be yourself. And I think that as time goes on, you end up being more and more of your true self. You become a lot more comfortable talking to the audience, more comfortable just talking about your day and, and, and your life. Number six, of course, is to just commit to something and then be consistent with it. So if you wanna do a weekly thing, be consistent, do it every week. Don't just disappear. And then number seven is really a mesh of two of the people that I really look up to. Um, and I saw this on Ryan Hanley's uh, Instagram stories the other day, and that is, so Gary Vee, your Gary Vaynerchuk always talks about document, um, don't create. And for me, someone that's a creative person, and I know that Ryan's in the same way, and I, he actually said this, so I gotta give him credit for this, and that is document and create. And I think for me, that is extremely helpful um, because I like to document my day, my process, the rise of Woody Brown, the insurance agent, but then also tell the story in a creative way that's entertaining and um, that hopefully you will like and or share with someone you know. All in all, like I said, it feels like this month has flown by, but it's also it also feels like it, th there's just been a million episodes. We're into the second month of the year and I'm interested to see what else I learn along the way. So thank you again so much for watching. Please keep coming back and um, hope you enjoy the rest. These days.